What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the second edition of Matt's RV Reviews Europe Edition. Today we're showing you a bunch of different RVs. If you didn't see last week's episode, I'll link it down in the description below. In the highlight of this episode, we got it back with Max Volkner and he showed us two of the new Volkner mobiles that sell for about two million dollars euros. So make sure you guys stick around and if you guys are loving Matt's RV Reviews Europe Edition, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. It's a small class A motorhome on the Mercedes chassis. And what really caught my eyes, Andrea, was this front headlight design. Now we've seen Mercedes chassis, but I've never seen one with this headlight design. This is very Italian looking when I see it. Don't you say so? Yes. That's what I see. I see like, you know, um, what, what are those like Fiat cars or whatever? Just the really, really fancy trim work right here, Mercedes Benz. And again, this is a class A motorhome. This is very similar to the Thor Axis or Vegas that you'll see in the United States. Let's walk around. When we walk around, you have a nice oversized bus style mirror right here. Small tires, Mercedes Benz, and I like the black rims. Check out the storage that you have here. Very cool setup. You do have this airplane style cockpit door. And if we wait a second, you're gonna see that down here, look at this. Huge storage in the rear and they actually demonstrate it with what the bikes look like when it's sitting inside the motorhome. Let's take a look at the inside. Coming on inside, I can tell you now, Andrea, I can almost promise you this is an Italian company. What say you? I think so too. Yeah. Looking at the inside, check it out. You got your Mercedes chassis there, lane assist, adaptive cruise control, both seats swivel around to become part of the living room area. We have a nice seat here and a nice seat here. And Andrea, I'm seeing all the cabinetry being very nice here in Europe, but this furniture, I'm telling you it's Italian. I can't wait to find out what it is in just a few moments. Right over here is the kitchen. Very nice, very small, very compact. What we're learning about the European style of RVs, they don't spend much time in it. They spend a lot of time out of it. You have your Dometic refrigerator here that you can access both ways. And then right over here, different from everything that we've seen so far, Andrea, it is still the raised up bed, but it's the queen bed option. We've been seeing the whole time the two twin beds. With the queen bed, you actually get some awesome storage back here. It might be German, Andrea. Uh-oh. I don't know yet. Innovative. But look at that storage all underneath. Yes. So cool. And then right here is your radius shower. So the shower is kind of in the bedroom. Yep. And then the toilet is here. Plastic toilet, womp womp, but still very, very nice. And tons of mirrors all the way around. This is an awesome motorhome in Andrea. We're gonna ask the people, we're gonna ask people working here where this brand is from, and we're gonna put it right here, bing. Hopefully we're right. And this is definitely one of them. And I can't believe the US market isn't doing this yet. This is a traditional Mercedes-Benz minivan. But what they do is they make it so it's kind of two in one. It's half a minivan, half an RV. Look at this. This is something that's gonna fit in your garage. Garage, you know what I'm saying? Parking garages, whatever. It's, it's called the Pace. But what's different about it is that it does have a pop top sleeper area. And then back here, there's no seats right here in the middle. So you have seats here. And then look, you get a little camp kitchen right there. A bed drops down from there. The driver and passenger seat swivel around. And we saw this a lot, Andrea, when we were in Switzerland. And the reason why we saw it a lot, because so many people, they parked next to the fields or next to the lakes, and then they were just camping out of it. You can even throw in a little portable toilet. This is not somebody who's living the RV life. This is somebody who just likes to go to Switzerland or France or, or wherever. They take their RV, they have all their comforts of their home, but they're spending most of the time outside. They're setting Traveling. up, yeah, they're setting up little outdoor seatings and everything. And then they do have something for that rare occasion when it rains. Literally, this is a perfect example of what we saw. Down by the lake, people just had their vans parked like in a city, just on the side of the road, camping out of it. Let's see the rear. In the rear, you can see that both of these seats, they do drop down to make a sleeping area. You have really nice cabinetry in here. 
And again, this is very, very affordable. And it's just crazy that we're seeing this so much in Europe and we're not seeing it in America. Not yet anyway, hopefully our manufacturers start making them like this. A little bit more, nope, you're good there. A little bit more that way. You ready? So we're here at the world's largest RV show in Dusseldorf, Germany, showing you guys the biggest travel trailer in the entire show. Look at this thing, Andre. This would be the American version of like a destination model. I, I don't see too many Volvos. I couldn't imagine too many Volvos towing this thing around. Let's take a look on the inside. <laughs> it's okay. You're okay. There's not one, but there's two sliding glass doors. Oh my goodness. Look how pristine it looks. Very streamlined. Yeah, well, the price is low. Wow. Inside, it's very, very modern looking. Really pretty. You have great looking cabinetry, nice solid surface countertops. Look at this cooktop with the sink that goes in. Oh, wow. And Look at that top. These are like aluminum. These are like aluminum uh, cabinets. Yeah, aluminum looking anyway. Refrigerator right here. And then. Must be a bathroom. Oh wow. Oh wow, huge bathroom wow. back here. Andrea, this is a phenomenal shower. We have a great sink area, nice mirror, place to get ready for the day, a porcelain toilet. This is a prime poop position. Bing! And then coming on in here. Oh wait, look, there's a closet too. Oh my Where? goodness, right here. Or is that proud? Oh yes, that's huge. Um, Let's see this bedroom. Oh, oh, I oh I think all of these are closets. Oh, you, you, very wow. streamlined. And then back here we do have a queen size bed. Look at that curvature in the window there. Nice. Tons of storage right here. I'm loving this. And right there we do have another glass door. Yep, there he is. Very nice pretty. to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. This is really pretty. This is the Forester, and the reason why it really caught our eyes. Is because of the green color scheme. You don't see that on America. In America, you don't see green motorhomes. Comment down below. Let me know why you don't see green motorhomes in America. But we do have a very awesome look at the bunker of the cab design. How it kind of protrudes up some, giving you a lot more sleeping space there. This does sit on the Ducati chassis, which is very similar to the Rome, uh, Ram Promaster chassis in America. Very streamlined look, very Euro look. Lots of curvatures, not hard edges that you'll see in America. And when you take a look at this one, well, we can take a look at this one actually since it's open. We have a ton of storage here. In Europe, you're seeing a lot of motorhomes that have this type of storage because so many people use bikes as their modes of transportation and they don't want them to get wet or stolen. Let's take a look at the inside. First, you know the price? I have no idea. 69,950 euro. Wow. Definitely not that bad. When you come inside, you are seeing it just the way it is, and it looks fantastic. Oh First and my. foremost, oversized bunk over the cab. This is oversized for Europe. This is about standard for America. Manual transmission here. What? Very, Manual? Very, oh, oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes. And then both driver and passenger seats swivel around to come part of the living area. You have a nice little seat here, dinette here. Look at the two-tone colors in the seat cushion and even that light there. And then you know they're gonna have the Euro style cabinetry. They even have cute little curtains in here. Yes, ma'am. Right over here, we do have a small bathroom. Um, very, very nice. It's a wet bath. It is a wet bath, but it's kind of like a bigger wet bath, so. They did a good job. And actually, I really like how they put that sink in the shower. Right over here, we do have your little cooktop area. And to wrap it all up, we have two twin beds in the rear. This is fantastic. So you have two people sitting right here. And then if they really love each other, they can hold their hands in the middle. And today I'm going to show you a traditional Class B plus motorhome that you'd see driving on the road today. Not one of these super massive ones. But this one is a shout out to my boss. It's the Cosmo right there oh. right here we do have the ducati chassis this is a b plus motorhome so it's very small very streamlined the reason why we call it a b plus is because it's not one unibody chassis it's more like a class c but with no bunk over the cab and the nice smooth edges when we come on down 
What I really love about the motorhomes that you see here in Europe is that of all of them have this huge storage in the rear because the primary <laughs> mode of transportation is bikes and e-bikes and scooters. So the fact that you're able to put all this in here and secure it while you're driving down the road is fantastic. At a sale price of only 89,948 euros, let's check out the inside. When you come inside, look at this awesome circular table. I love these. Both driver and passenger seats swivel around. I said to Cotty, I meant it's a Fiat chassis. Sorry about that, folks. Love the social circle in here. It's very nice. No bunk over the cab because it's a B plus. You do have this windshield. And if you notice the roof right underneath you, this actually drops down. This is a second sleeper area, which is very cool. Right over there is the mid kitchen. Why don't you show everybody, Andrea? Okay. Oh, look, this is so cute. All right, you got your cooktop over here, three burner propane cooktop, cute little round sink. Show us. We got plenty of time in this glass unit. Cover and then oh, is this the oven? Wow, Very nice. Super cute. Got Very a nice. Drawer nice. Down there, and then the refrigerator, which looks like it might run off propane, Matt. Okay. Um, but Matt, look, maybe you show this better because I don't think people understand the whole bunk system right there. It's yes. Really cool. What I was saying is right here. Push this button, and this comes down. This is a second sleeping area, which is fantastic. And I love how you don't need to adjust any of the seatings down under you to get it going. Right here is a little shower, and it does come out and adjust in a weird way. And then right here is the oh, bathroom. Oh, how cute. I love this style. Yeah, it's it's a small, cute bathroom, but it's definitely not a prime pooping position. And then back here, we have not one, but two separate sleeping areas, individual twin beds with the space in the middle so you can climb up and down. And again, you see that a lot in Europe, so you can have that incredible storage from the outside. So the fan favorite from last year's Dusseldorf RV show, we have Max Volkner back Hello. on the show. How are you? I'm fine, and you? People loved you last year. Thank, thank you, you for having us back. Yes, thank you. Do you have some new motorhomes to show us? Yes, of course. We have two new ones here. And this is the first one. The Volkner Mobile performs perfection. Perfect. As you guys can see here, they actually have like a mini style car. Andre and I, we actually rented something like this when we were in uh, Rome last week. And it's so nice because it fits in the um, moped parking spot. So you can literally park it anywhere in Europe in those cities, which is really nice. Especially when you have a big motorhome like this, because you're not getting that motorhome in the city. So Max, what the heck's going on here? Can you show us how this works? Yes, of course. I would. Good. Perfect, so as you saw, the, mo the car is in the motorhome like this. It raises up for the car to come out and then it drops back down. Fantastic, Max, what other vehicles can you put on here? Because last year you had a supercar. Yes, that's right. This is not a supercar. No, this is a little <laughs> car, yes. Yes. But also this is a little motorhome. Oh, little okay, one. yes. Yes, 10 meters 80. Okay. And here you can put a Mini Cooper. Okay. Or a Fire Fiat. Fiat, yep. Yes. And that's it. Okay, and then the other ones you can still put the Ferrari yes, in? That's right. Very they cool. Are bigger. Yes, and if you guys haven't seen those videos, we'll link last year's videos down below. Again, we're, we just want to show everybody the new stuff. Can we see the inside? Yes, of course. Perfect. And then cut, Andrea. Do we need to put... Do you have the... No, you can go inside. What about shoes off? Yes, you can let it on. Oh, leave it on? Okay. Leave it on. All right. Check it out, Andrea. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. I am liking this interior. Yes, it's a little bit like a jungle. It yes, does feel it like is that. It's like a jungle. It's like but, a safari. Max, as you might remember last year, orange is definitely my favorite color. And you've done <laughs> an incredible job. Watch your step. You've done an incredible job designing the cabinetry here. Very big sectional sofa. Now tell me again, you guys make what, 15 a year? Yes, 10 to 15, depends on the customer's wishes. Okay. So when we have to build a hypercar garage design, it's 
lot more work. Yes. But this one, they are okay, so we produce 10 to 15. Wow. Yeah, see, this is chump change for them. This is easy stuff. I love this, and, and you can fully customize everything, right? That's right. Everything. That's, that's the whole experience, guys. You know, we're going to link Faulkner's website down below. We have nice cabinetry here with a televator. Very nice. And then over here is your kitchen. Nice induction cooktop, solid surface countertop, Nespresso machine. Always. Sink right there. And if that Nespresso machine gets in the way, Andrea, all you gotta do is to push the button. Oh, oh nice. man. Look at that. You have the cups and everything. And then it goes down all the way flush. You don't remember that from last year? I think I do. Yes. There was so much crazy stuff. I can't remember everything. Right over here, we have your wine glasses. Yes, and here you can see. What oh. is that? A bread cutting machine. A what? A, a bread, bread cutting, cutting machine. machine. Bread? <laughs> yes. You can put your breads here. Okay. Yes. And cut it. Because the bread is so much better here in Europe. Truly. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we have sliced bread in America. No, it's not good. <laughs> okay. Over here in the bathroom, we have very nice storage, split bath, tons of space very here. Pretty. We have a dedicated shower and a toilet. I like the glass doors. <laughs> this is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. Hey, Max, did you see last year we caught you on camera tr fixing your hair? <laughs> 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 and then uh, right over there we in the bedroom, another TV televator. Look at this. Tons of storage wow. space. Nice bed right here. What else do you want to tell everybody about the Volkner? Yes, yeah, so here you have a very big bed yes and this one you can lift up oh. to put the mattress from the front inside the mattress from the front the yes you what can mattress? also you can also sleep uh, this this one. Oh, okay um is this mattress yes this word's mattress oh it's storage ah okay. very nice cool. very very cool Matt's RV Reviews Europe Edition is 100% brought to you by RVMattress.com. They are 100% the reason why we're able to bring you Matt's RV Reviews Europe Edition. Join us after the review as we take you along to the Leaning Tower of Pisa and if you need a new mattress for your RV, here's the three mattresses that I recommend. First up is the Dream Foam Hybrid. Customized comfort with cooling on contact. Guys, this is the absolute best mattress entry level in the industry you can get different sizes twin xl full queen short queen king these mattresses are specifically made for rvs next was my personal favorite mattress which is the aurora lux which is advanced cooling technology in a luxury hybrid guys we had this mattress in our motorhome and it was the absolute best and most comfortable mattress that you can get. Again, you can get different firmnesses, different sizes, and um, you can even get a pillow topper. And it was super nice, but we actually switched to the new Signature Hybrid. The reason why we personally switched to the Hybrid is because our dog Yuna had a hard time hopping on the bed because the Aurora was too thick. But the Signature Hybrid is just as nice, just as comfortable, just a little bit thinner, um, and it's still patented premium sleep at factory direct price. Guys, their factory is made in Arizona right here. You get a 120 night sleep trial guarantee and you get free shipping and returns. These are the absolute best mattresses for RVs. Click our link down below and use promo code MATT for an additional 25% off. And again, thank you so much to RVmattress.com Let's continue the video. Great, so Matt, so what do we have going on behind us? Yes, here's the working room performance. Okay. So we have a bigger garage than in the perfection. And here's a Mini Cooper Clubman with five seats inside. Wow. It's very big for inside a motorhome. Yes, absolutely. I mean, any car in a motorhome is huge. Yes. But to have this one and just so you guys know, the motorhome lifts up, the car comes out and then sets back down. So that's how you're able to park this type of car or a supercar or any other small type of vehicle. Can we see the inside? Yes, of course. All right. 
Oh, tell us about the pay. Yes. So the payment here is handmade payment, but here is something on that the scratches go away from itself. So to repair itself. It repair itself. That's right. Very nice. There go. Okay, I can't wait to see this one. All right. Oh, look at this one. Wow. I don't know which one I like better. <laughs> as you can see, we just did another Volkner, and this one looks just as nice, just a little bit of a different color, interior design. But everything up here is full custom. What do we got going on in the cockpit area? Yes, so here we have a cockpit for driving. Okay. Here's a radio, and here we have the Volkner UX. It's a touch screen, and you have every function on it. Wow, and then it is a Volvo chassis. Yes, it's a Volvo chassis. I like that Volvo Volkner. You know, that's right. And <laughs> here you can charge your phones. Wow, wireless. And then over here we do have a huge U-shaped dinette. It drops down to make a bed. Euro-style windows there. Right here, beautiful countertop with a TV and a televator there. Stand right there, Andrea. I want to show everybody. You have this beautiful silver not silverware but um it's wine glasses wine glasses china, in, in china right there which is super nice induction cooktop nice solid surface max if you come on by yeah. stand there andrea oh, go ahead. let them walk through where's the cappuccino machine yes the cappuccino machine he doesn't have one okay Ooh. but we have <clears throat> oh very cool and what we also have is these um Turn on and off. Wow. 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 So they close it. Yes, very nice. I like the LED lights. Coming on in very there. Very nice. We have an awesome toilet placement. Oh, that's very cool. This is a prime poop position. Bing! And then there's something super special about the shower. Andrea, please look up at the night sky. <gasps> Oh my goodness. You turn that off and you have stars in the sky. I love it. Now there's something super special about this. Yes. Those stars aren't just randomly positioned. Max, tell everybody what you guys do. Yes. This is a real star image from the customer's birthday. And also the bigger stars are the bigger stars in real life. So when you buy this motorhome, they ask you your birthday and then they set the lights up to the sky that this is the way the sky was set on your birthday. Beautiful. I love that. Nobody does that. That is so and then the lights out of yes, this league. The lights you can turn on here. Very nice. Nice sink area, tons of storage there. And then like over the here, over here. Again, a huge master bedroom, king size bed, wardrobe all the way around and more storage there. Max, are we missing anything? Yes. Oh. <laughs> the um, wood is very, very special inside. Okay. Because the wood is real wood. Nice. And it's handmade and the lines go through the whole car. Oh, yes. beautiful. So every little detail has to fit. And this little screen here has also the furniture on it. And wow. And that's the perfect, that's the perfect look? <laughs> yes. Oh wow. And here you can, for example, the bed lights. Wow. Turn on and off. Everything you can steer with it. Wow, I Beautiful. love this, Andrea. Once again, Max Volkner provides us. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. And again, guys, we're going to link Volkner's website down below. Big shout out to Max for joining us again. Let's take a look at the next motorhome. Today we're going to pop in some of these truck campers. Unlike truck campers in America, you can see that they actually have some that's designed for their version of the Ford Ranger. And then even this one, which is good for a half ton truck, which this one's being the Ram. In America, like even a three quarter ton truck has a hard time with a lot of truck campers. You really need that one ton dually when it comes to the truck campers that we have. But let's, uh... okay, so it's kind of like a Darko material. Very cool looking. Very small, and I, I don't need you on this one, Andrea. Okay. I'm sorry, it's, it's very in and out. Oop. Just like that. That is the whole little truck camper. A nice little eating area, little bed here, refrigerator, 
and a little sink. Just like that, Andrea. <clears throat> Automobile? Yes. You want to pop... Oh, there's somebody in that yes. one. Look at that yellow one down there that we'll take a look at. Okay, so I'm going into the next one here. This is the bigger one on the half-ton truck. And this is the bigger one on the half-ton truck. Look at this. We got a nice wet bath in here. Really cute sink. Very Euro. Nice little dinette here. And then you've got your bed up there. And your fridge and your little kitchen with your two burner cooktop. A little bit bigger, a little bit more spacious. Let's wrap it up with that third one, which is that yellow one right over there. Great. So now we're going to be able to take a look at this yellow one. And just found out that you can actually get these in the United States in a, a few weeks uh, out of a uh, place in California. We'll link their website down below. It's this uh, monocoque design, all one piece. And look at what they did here, Andrea. The table's also where the fridge goes. Oh, wow. Hop on in there. Yes. Okay. Very small, very nice design. I did talk to them. They will be at the Overland Expo, which is real big for truck campers. Oh my we do have a nice little bathroom here. This is so cute. For and then here, a nice little sink. And I like how small it is, and I like the yellow color scheme that they're doing in here. It sure brightens it up. Yes, ma'am. And then if you can show that right there, company names, Hotomobiles. So behind me is the Urbia. Look at this awesome retro looking travel trailer. You guys don't see very many travel trailers in Europe, so to see this is awesome. We're actually gonna start with the back because are you getting like 1950s vibes from this trailer? I love the way it looks with the colors. You can get this in yellow, red, blue, silver, whatever color floats your boat. And I love the, the all the chrome and the tail light designs. Coming around, you're gonna see that this is it kind of looks like a scamp in the U.S., you know what I'm saying? Kind of like a fiberglass shell. Uh, I'm not sure the specifics, but this company is a subsidiary of Hymer. Single axle, so it's going to be incredibly lightweight. And you even have the type of articulating tongue hitch right here. And a pop top for the roof. Let's take a look at the inside. Oh, coming on inside, you can see... This is definitely a small travel trailer, extremely lightweight with a small narrow doorway, <clears throat> but inside pretty spacious. Now I will say, I don't think Will's gonna fit in here. Will's probably definitely not gonna give it the shower test seal of approval, but we have nice storage right up here, which there you go, just like that. The Euro style windows that open up a nice dinette this does drop down to make another sleeping area. And just so you know, this dinette does slide so you can get people in and out of that side there. Right over here, we have a little kitchen, lightweight countertops. I do love the design of it. Behind you, Miss Andrea, is going to be your bedroom setup. Nice east to west bed, storage all the way around, which is very nice. And then if you don't mind opening this door, here is your wet bath. Unfortunately, that's not a prime pooping position, but as you guys can tell, this is a small, awesome, lightweight travel trailer. All right, next up is this B van from this company, Vantor. They looks like they have about eight units here. So actually, we're gonna start with this one, which is the traditional Class B motorhome. Very cool. This one, again, it looks like the Ram Promaster, but I believe it's the Ducati chassis and they put their own emblem on it. Very awesome. See the small motor home. We do have a pop top up here. Nice little bathroom. This bed area does raise up. The bathroom right here. It is a wet bath and yes, that is not a prime pooping position. Right here you have the dinette, and then here you have a little camp kitchen right there. Hello. Is it yours? No, not yet. Oh no, that's not mine. And then coming around, oh man, I love this. I love that orange stripe there. This is, oh, on a man chassis. Very cool. It's a little B plus motorhome. Can I go in? 
Thank you. Yeah. All right. Very cool. You guys can see the dinette spun over. Little bunk over the cab, but that's good for storage. Very modern looking. Oh man, I like this. Nice little kitchen there. Again, this bed raises up. And then here we do have a wet bath. Very cool, small design. Very, very nice. Let's take a look at this one over here. Yeah. All right. Van Torer. Again, very similar. Different design on the inside. But again, a lot of the same features and characteristics. Hopefully you guys aren't seeing that flash. I changed the settings to European settings. Oh, and look at this minivan. Oh, see, this is a minivan kind of motorhome style. Oh man, that is very cool. Obviously you can't drive why that's up, but this is perfect for like somebody like me who like, or somebody who needs like an office. When you get to where you're going, you park, you let the breeze out. Um, you have a nice little kitchen. A little place for meals, place for you to do your work. All while being a traditional minivan. That one looks sleek. I like the red. Very cool. This one, up. Oh, this one, if you really want to get extreme, even has like a little mobile camp kitchen. Very cool. And then let's see what's going on in the back here. Oh, storage. Oh, and then those seats do drop down to become a bed. And then you can also get this brand on the Ford chassis as well. Thank you everybody for watching the second episode of Matt's RV Reviews Europe Edition. Make sure you guys join us in just a few moments. We're gonna bring you along to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And just so everybody knows, episode three will not be next week. It will be the following week. And you guys aren't gonna wanna miss it because we're showing you a Dembel motorhome which is a super Mercedes Class A that is the best motorhome that I've ever seen. Uh, also, this week is the Hershey RV Show. We can't wait to see everybody at the Hershey RV Show this week. That's why there won't be a Matt's RV Reviews Europe edition this weekend. Can't wait to see everybody. Let's bring you along to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> I wish I was looking at All right, howdy, y'all. Welcome back to the vlog. Are you feeling better? Me? Yeah, both of you. Good, great. Good, good. You guys missed an awesome couple of days in Rome and Florence. And today we are in Pisa. We are in Pisa and super excited to go up and see that tower that's leaning. Also known as the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So we just took a train here. And I think it's only a one mile walk. So I don't know if we're gonna walk or hop on the bus right there. We don't know. And we don't speak Italian. 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 So we're gonna check out the town of Pisa and bring you guys along with us. This bus, we'll see where this takes us. Well, there it is. Hello. Do you go to the tower? No? Okay. Do I uh, walk that way? That way? Yeah. Ah, thank you. All right, wrong way. It is kind of hot. I think you should have brought in your umbrella, Alyssa. I know. It's very nice as we cross the bridge. We've got a cool little church. Some Italian looking buildings and everything. Very nice. And we'll say, it is an awfully hot day 
and you don't have much shade. All right, we've been walking for a little over a mile now, and I believe we are almost there. I think that's the church thing, and then it's like behind it or next to it or something. What do you think, Bella? We'll find out. Hey, everyone. We had to walk about a mile from the train station. Oh, it's way over very a mile. Hot. Very hot. Different kind of hot that we're not used to. Right. So like, I feel very dry. Yeah. Very thirsty. No, thank you. Nope. Thank you. Whew. Look at that shirt. It's like, how do they make it like that so long ago? They had um, scaffolds. Mm. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. You want to get a little thing for a dollar? Grab one of those little towers. Uh, Look. I don't really want one. I want one. You can, you can grab it. Well, can you grab one? For, I got my well, backpack I on. I grab it for you? Because I got, cause I got it right here. Come on, just grab that one. Which one? Just one of the towers for a dollar. No, not that one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Where's the guy? Who works here? Yep. Thank you. Yeah, we got a tower. Yay! <laughs> Let's show your mom. Look, we got a tower. Oh, so sorry. Let me see your tower. Oh, look at it. It's not leaning. <laughs> Is it leaning? It's leaning. Okay, not the same as when you see I'm not holding on. No, no, no. Hang on. There you go. So what do you think? What do you think now that we're here? I think it's crazy if you had to walk all the way up those steps. I think you're on the top. What do you think? Was it worth it? It's pretty cool. It's the 12th century. Okay, one out of ten. I'd give it a five. I say six. Yeah. No, it, it it's not that. It's um, it's how far we come. If it was in the middle of town that we were staying at. Oh, oh, that's nothing compared to me. Trust me. Yep. My back is drenched. So. Okay. So that's it. And that church is just beautiful. It is beautiful. Actually, you know what's funny? So like all these people, they're they're all like doing the lean with their camera angle. But I actually think it's, it's funnier to watch people from this angle because you're all like, hey, what are you doing, you weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Like, like. <laughs> That's so funny. Like when you go like this, <laughs> the guy's just standing there. So, look, everybody's, everybody's doing the lane. Oh, stay off the grass. Yep. All right. I guess those chains don't mean nothing. <laughs> All right, we got to get some food. Thanks, y'all.